What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new ranking style video for you guys and it is going to be ranking every single WWE Elite Kane figure. So Kane was recommended by my Patreon backers so if you guys want to support me on Patreon, huge shout out to our patrons over there. Become a certain level and you can help vote on these specific videos and see who we rank next and stuff. My next ranking video is kind of going to kind of be like a Wrestlemania celebration so I'm not going to vote on the next ranking video but the one after that you know continuing on for patron backers that will be a whole thing but today we are back with another ranking style video and i'm excited man because it is kane and kane has some really awesome figures and he has some figures that are not so awesome and we're going to discuss all of that here today man so with that being said let's go ahead and dive into this thing and see how we rank every single wwe elite kane that mattel also also i'm including the ultimate editions you got it there's two ultimate editions including both of those because i think they should be in there i think that they have the respect they look good i always include ultimates in these elite figure rankings because I think it's, I, I just think it's appropriate for whatever reason. So with that being said, let's shut the hell up and get into it. So taking a look at our ranking board here, you guys can see here, same as always, right? We got go buy it at the top, go buy it. If I put a figure here, I'm gonna run through the tiers really quick if you guys are unaware of how this thing works. Go buy it at the top. If I put a figure in that spot, that means that you need to go buy it. It needs to be in your collection. It's very good. There's, so, there's certain things about it that are just the best of the best. And that's what the go buy it section means. It's amazing. Going down here to good figure, good figure is it's a really good figure it's solid I would understand if you had it in your collection but I don't think it's must have it's not 100% go buy this figure right now add this figure to collection however if you do have it in your collection or you want it in your collection I'd be like okay yeah I could I could see that Brad and we move down here to meth this is the mid tier this is where the the figures that aren't necessarily trash but aren't necessarily good or bad but aren't necessarily good or great they're right there in the middle they're very mid this is the mid tier but I call it meh I've been a more meh guy until mid came into the conversation. I've been a meh. Under that, you have barely acceptable. Barely acceptable means you have one redeeming quality that's keeping you out of the bottom. So let's just say a figure's trash, but maybe it has a pretty good head sculpt, or maybe it feels good in the hand, but it's an awful figure. Usually figures that feel good in the hand do not go in the barely acceptable. That I don't know why I said that. That's not true, Brad. Feeling the hand is one of the most important qualities for me when it comes to action figures in general. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but hopefully over the years of the channel, if you've heard me say this figure feels good in the hand in a review, you've bought that figure, or you own that figure, and you've kind of compared and broken it down to any figure that I say that about is pretty damn good most of the time. At least I think so. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. Who am I? Lights are too bright for me, Brad. <laughs> And then we move to the bottom tier, which is going to be the garbage. And you don't want to be in the garbage, bro. If you're in the garbage, you're trash, which goes without saying. But you're down there with the Corbins. You're down there with the... I mean, Corbin has some good figures. He's got some trash figures, too. But that's besides the point. Why is he in my video? Let's get into it, man. Ranking every single WWE Mattel Elite and Ultimate action figure that we've gotten so far, man. Starting out first, we have the Kane Build-A-Figure Elite. This is actually a figure I've never owned, but I know how good it is. But I don't know. Do you need it? in the collection is it go buy it i actually don't like authority came whatsoever i'm gonna put in good figure i don't think it's like it's one of those that's a really solid figure in general but it's not uh it doesn't really have any historical significance it's not going to get you out of bed in the morning it's a really good figure like in hand posing stuff like that it's a suited body most suited bodies that mattel makes are pretty damn good it's a good figure it's not earth shattering next up elite four kane one of my favorite iterations of kane is the stitches era uh really good figure figure here I <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go buy it. I'm putting in go buy it. I think that's where it belongs. It's a solid figure overall. I like the look of it. Stitches pants, great stuff. I'm getting out of here. Going up to Elite Ten Kane. I actually like personally. People are probably gonna tell you this is go buy it for me. It's good figure. Great accessories on this guy. The gear solid. A lot of people like this gear. A lot of people probably like this better than Elite Four. But for me personally, I like Elite Four better. And this does have some of my personal influence on it. I'm not gonna sit here and act like it doesn't. But I try to give you guys. A, a great understanding of, of stuff like that. And I mean, typically these figures are pretty much the exact same. It's just which attire do you like better? So in my eyes, and I think Elite 4, Elite 4 also comes with the chains. I know that uh, the Elite 10 comes with the Money in Bank briefcase, but it's inaccurate. Because of the big gold title, we have a lot of those anyway. So I, don't, I mean, I don't really care, bro. Get, Elite 4 is better than Elite 10, but Elite 10 is good. I understand if you want in your collection. That's a perfect good figure for me. Next up is Elite 12 Kane. People are probably going to assassinate me for this. 
but it's good figure. It's no longer go buy it. Now, this back in the day was absolutely go buy it. Historical significance, uh, beautiful looking figure. It's classic Elite 12 Kane. This used to be one of the best, like, quote unquote figures that Mattel ever did. For a long time, it was up there in the, in the top category. Anybody will tell you that. It's a solid figure, but it has been surpassed, and we'll get into that later on in the video. Next up, Elite 19 Kane. Now, we're about to get into an era of Kane figures that I absolutely hated because I felt like once he took the mask off, off and he brought back the mask design. Didn't like the mask design, didn't like his redesign. He looked like an old washed up wrestler for a long time. Like in, I'd say like 2011, 2012, once this looks kind of started. I didn't like it, man. I didn't like it. I just thought that once he took the mask off, it should have stayed gone unless he brought it fully back. And I know they didn't want to just rehash what he had already done. Like I understand it. I just was never a fan of it personally. And uh, this figure is actually good. I'm going to put this one in good figure because it actually had sculpted stitches on it. It actually poses around really well. It's a solid figure. I think it does come with the iron mask. It may even come with the tag team championship or maybe that was the Elite 22 Kane maybe but nonetheless the Elite 19 is the best of this kind of era of Kane and uh, that's the best rundown I can give you man. I just felt like he looked so lame in that attire. Like his attires were lame. The mask was lame. I just never liked it for whatever reason man. I just I just did. Next up is Elite 22 Kane and this is the one that had the molded mask and this one's better than than other iterations, but it's meh. It's just so plain Jane. It's, you know, it's painted on stuff. Like, the stitches are painted on. It doesn't have sculpt or anything. Very meh. Just doesn't do anything for me, personally. Very meh figure. Like, just the definition of meh. I just, I just, I'm meh thinking about it. Next up is Elite 31 Kane. I don't like this figure, man. I don't like this figure. And I'm honestly gonna put it in the garbage. I, uh, I believe this is the one that has, like, the straight face, but it has the removable mask. And every single time they've done that removable mask gimmick. I think it was good for like one time. After that, uh, I just don't I don't like it. I, I just don't think it works. It's very bulky. It doesn't line up on the eyes. It kind of sits kind of high most of the time. It's just, it's an era of cane that I don't really care for. Black attire painted on stitches. Just so blah, bro. Just meh. Just definition of meh. The garbage. Next up is the Elite 47B. And this is pretty much the Elite 31, but it's smiling. And I don't know if I like that better. But it d didn't the Elite 47B come with a case? It came with a case for the mask? Barely acceptable. I th I like that. I like that you get that uh, that that extra accessory. The bonus accessory with the box with the mask in it. That chef's kiss for me. Uh, the rest of it is completely skippable. Uh, I would say track down the accessory over the figure itself. I just, d I don't like it. I do not like it. Just barely acceptable. Perfect example of that there. You guys could see that it steadily got worse. It was like it was good figure, and then it was meh, and then it was garbage, and then it was barely acceptable. I just don't like those designs. Elite 63 Kane, better gear, but also just the removable mask gimmick again, I'm pretty sure, right? I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. The gear, again, was so plain. It's like black singlet, and then like clip art flames on it. Garbage. Just ugly. So plain and boring. Don't like it at all. And I love Kane. I'd probably put him in my top 15 of all time that I love. I just, he's meh. He's just meh here. Not good. Next up, Decade of Domination Kane. This is an absolute go buy it. I love the moment of the unmasking. Uh, I love that it's a specific, and this does have the removable mask gimmick, but it makes sense because it's when he unmasked. Are you understanding it? So you, there's a lot of different options you can have here. I like it a lot. Uh, I love, like, it captured the moment perfectly. You got the little patch of hair and the eye black and all that stuff. Chef's Kiss, go buy it. Great figure, I think. I have three of those. Next up is the Hall of Champions re-release of Elite 12 Kane. I'm gonna put this in good figure and I'm gonna put it, uh, I'm gonna put it right here. I think it's better than the Elite 12. It's better than the Elite 10. It's a better than the Elite 12 because it actually comes with a world championship. It looks better men on card. Eh, I guess that's arguable, but I think it's good figure. It's not, uh, it's still not go buy it worthy simply because I think it's, it's time has passed it by. However, uh, it's a good figure. All right, man, so continuing on, we have the Legends Target exclusive cane. Easy go buy it. Might be the best cane figure of all time. It's definitely up there. I mean, I don't know if the best of it. It may be the best cane elite of all time. It's damn 
good. It's so good. It's the head sculpt, the double jointed arms, the World Tag Championship, the attire. Just a fantastic piece, man. I mean, what can you say, man? What can you say? It is so good, it makes me want to jump off a bridge. Next up, we have the ringside exclusive Undertaker is Kane. Now, this is interesting because people are going to say, how is, it, how is this Kane? And it's because it comes with a Kane head sculpt. It's a Kane figure. All you got to do is put a Kane head sculpt on there, basically, and it's double sleeve Kane, which is excellent. I think it's a really cool idea, and I think I'm going to put it and go buy it. I think it's really interesting. I like the double sleeve look. I think that uh, it's, it's fantastic. I think it's a great representation of Kane, and uh, that's why I'm putting it there. I like it. WWF title, really cool. You also get a bonus Undertaker head sculpt that looks dreadful, but we don't have to talk about that, Brad. Next up, ringside exclusive again. We have Hardcore Kane. Another go buy it. I think it's fantastic. Uh, I, like, it's weird because the release of Ultimate Edition Kane's has made it where they need to do an ultimate of all his different looks because the new formula and the new arms and the build that they give his Ultimate Editions is so much better than his Elites. His Elites, like, always made him really, like, small in the chest and small on his arms and, like, made him more lean. And he was gigantic. I don't understand why they did that, but here we are. I think that uh, you should go buy this. It's, it's a great figure, but uh, I, if you want to put that in good figure, you could, but I just really like this iteration of Kane around this time. It was brilliant, so I'm going to put there. I like it better than Undertaker's Kane, and I like it better than the Decade of Domination. I like that figure specifically a lot. That's probably my favorite, like, attire of Kane maybe ever, so... Yeah. Next up is the ringside exclusive Kane. The probably like super duper rare. It's insane, but uh, this is going in good figure for me. It's no longer just must have. I think if it's meant on card, I think that would be absolutely ridiculous. But for me, it's not. It's not go buy it. It's a good figure. If you have it, it's awesome. It's a great piece and a time and a moment in time. But uh, just I think that there's better figures. You could fix up other figures. It's just not. Uh, it's not go buy it worthy anymore. I guess. Next up is Survivor Series. Series Elite Kane. I like this figure a whole lot and it's basically a repaint of the ringside exclusive, but I just like this look of Kane again. I just like the different looks of Kane. I like it. his attires are so iconic. I just, I like it better than the Undertaker's Kane, and I like it better than the Decade of Domination. I, I like this Kane. I like this Kane, man. Kane figures are great. They're, there's so many good ones, and I think that this one's go buy it worthy. It's damn good. To be honest with you, you could probably put a couple of these at the top in the good figure section, like probably the ringside exclusive Undertaker's Kane could go in good figure. The hardcore, the Survivor Series Elite, Decade of Domination, maybe, but this is my this is my ranking. Next up, the Ultimate Edition Kane. Go buy it. Go buy it. Best Kane action figure ever made. Not even close. I mean, not even close is debatable, but it's so beautiful. It is beautiful. Perfect mass sculpt, like chef's kiss. I hope we get more canes. And guess what? They gave us another cane, and it's go buy it too. It's so damn good with that Attitude Era ring. Beautiful. I didn't like that it came with the Attitude Era ring, to be honest with you. But I like the, it, like, you know, the pyro cane hands. You get uh, the ring with it, obviously. It's like not... I don't want another ring. Today that I'm recording this, actually in an hour and a half, they're revealing the crowdfunding project, and it's probably going to be a WCW-related deal. I guess I could probably plug in something, because this probably won't be posted until the day after that, but I'll probably plug in something here, but we don't need any more rings. I hope that the reveal today has no more rings. Like, please, God, don't give us another ring. We'll see how that aged. Here we go. Last figure on the set is the WrestleMania Heritage, WrestleMania 31 Heritage Kane, which is a repaint, and it, it was a repaint of Elite 12 Kane, and it also was basically the elite version of the ultimate so it's good figure as well it's not the it's not as good as the ultimate the ultimate's ridiculous i actually don't even have the uh, that second ultimate i don't even have that out of the box all of my like my attitude era ring is meant on card right now and I never took the cane out of the box, so it's in the shipper. All of it's in the shipper, and I need to buy another one. I don't know if I'm going to just unbox that one, order another one, or what the case was, but, you know, I want a mint on card cane for the mock collection, and I want a loose cane, and I got to have that cane out of the box. So it's probably just something that I'll have to do, but that is our cane ranking. It's kind of crazy. It's like an AT&T bar here. A lot of go buy it, a lot of good figures, barely any meds, one barely acceptable, one garbage. Kind of just shows you that Kane has some really awesome figures, but he's also very toyetic, so it makes a lot of sense to me. But this is awesome. I, I had a lot of fun with this ranking. Again, our next ranking video, I guess I can go ahead and tell you guys what our next Elite ranking video is going to be, and it's probably going to be posted probably on Sunday for Night 2 in celebration of Night 2 of WrestleMania and the Tribal Chief. We're going to be ranking every WWE Elite Roman Reigns figure. We're going to rank every Roman Reigns in the next ranking, but today we rank Kane's. It was really, really fun. I, I love Kane's. 
Kane figures. I have a decent sized little Kane collection. I don't have all of these, so it's something that I'm constantly trying to gain, and so uh, I look forward to that, man. But I'm getting out of here, man. If you guys are interested in voting on these videos in the future outside of the Roman Reigns ones, become a patron member. Link in the description below. Grab some merch. This week is WrestleMania. I will be out there, hopefully, to meet a lot of you guys. Can't wait for it, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I hope to see you at WrestleMania. We'll never